Hi, this is Dr. Joe. Welcome back to The Adventures. For those of you who have a lathe, having a proper place to put your lathe tools is really nice, but kind of challenging. Um, I've got a magnetic little plastic rack, but it only holds three tools. I've got more than that, and frequently we go back and forth to a number of these. So I wanted to build a really nice tool rack, but I'm a little bit limited. The width that I've got to work with is this which in my case is 17 and a half inches wide let's take a look at what I my, my, my initial plan this is what I first did and it didn't work very well <clears throat> so I took a nice piece of scrap cut some holes in it right down the middle split it in half then put some bungee cords across these areas but the larger diameter pushed the bungee cord out. These would slip and fall. So this is not ideal. But I think I have a better proposal. What I'm going to do is change the depth a little bit of these so that these fit a little more flush. And then I'm going to use some rare earth magnets up in here. So each one of these will have a magnet to stick on. I won't need these bungee cords. And in the base of this, I'm going to drill a little indent so the base of these tools will fit in there and I think that'll be a lot better. I measured with the caliper the width of the handles at about this level and the largest one here is a little bit less than one and an eighth so I thought I would use one and an eighth and so I've got a one and an eighth inch Forstner bit. But because I want this to be sticking a little further out and this one to be in not to make them top heavy, but just to balance them because of the shape of the handle. I'm going to drill these holes in this in, a, in material for this a little bit off center. I'm using this piece of three quarter inch cherry because I used a cherry piece for the bottom. I'm going to take this off and make the indents uh, or the detents, if you wish, so the base of these tools will fit right on there and they'll be solid. And then, of course, we'll put the magnets up there. So I made room for 12 tools with my initial plan, but they're just a little too tight. If you put any of the big ones together, they, they bump into each other because of the wide uh, base of the handle. So I'm going to spread those apart a little bit. I think they need to be more, I think their, their centers need to be, let's use this divider to kind of figure that out. Probably this probably an inch and a half and if we do an inch and a half on the new um, on the new board with a little bit like maybe three eighths one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so in looking at this, I felt it was best to come in a quarter of an inch on each side. So what we'll do is we'll use our, this is nice, our INCRA unit and set that to a nice location and mark it. That marks a beautifully parallel line. And now we've got our dividers. We'll start off about 3 8 We'll make a mark here. Mm -hmm. 
So we've got our piece of cherry here. We've got it marked. This is our one and eighth inch Forstner bit. The laser is nice because it lines everything up for me. We make our cuts. I always use a backer board because it allows me to make a nice clean cut. Line that up. Boy, I love that smell. I'm sure it's not good for me. But the smell of cherry wood is so beautiful. I got this one too. are made so now we'll just basically rip this and have our two board pieces to mount our lathe tools now at this point I'm ripping this I've got the dust collection and the safety uh, stops as well as a riving knife and we're splitting that into two pieces one certainly wider than the other or taller than the other, which is going to allow the lathe tools to sit properly, period. Now at this point, we've got the rare earth magnets. They're exactly one half inch wide. We're going to drill a shallow hole in each of these areas and then epoxy them all in place. So we'll drill our holes. to glue our magnets in all right let's put our epoxy in get our get our magnets going these things are amazingly strong I drilled these little openings. They're one and three eighths inches wide, and then a three quarter inch, quarter inch deeper. And the ends of these turning tools will fit nicely into that, into that offset. So I've been putting all these screws in. I'm using these little square drive. We got the magnetic rod on and this and the holder and now we're going to put the final set of these cups on here line that up just finish this up 
take a look at it. I pre-drilled these holes and countersunk them so the screws wouldn't be um, wouldn't be proud. All right, so let's take a look at it at how the tools fit. It's been secured. Let's see how these tools fit. I like that sound. Really locks them in nicely. So the magnets are nice. They really hold these tools in place. And I think it's going to prevent them from falling out. Look at this. They're leaning forward and staying put. I'm pretty excited about this. Let's install it on the wall next to the lathe. Okay, here's my lathe. And in a very convenient location will be the tool holder. Let's put those tools in there and see how they work. I love that snap. Just locks them in there. There's a small bowl gouge. A big one. Skew chisel. Another skew. And put some parting tools over here. Scraper. There's another skew. So there is a method of a tool storage rack, which is nice. Boy, it holds it holds these in really nicely. You can hear that. Solid. You take one out, they're not going to go anywhere. I've got my dust collection here, so that doesn't get in the way of the of the rack. This is dust collection for the lathe. I think this rack will be handy and easy to use. It'll keep our our turning tools right where we want them and uh, I think it's going to make my life easier. Less clutter, cleaned, it, cleaned up the floor where I had these things laying down and uh, excited to get turning. Thank you very much for watching. This is a really easy and I think going to be very effective tool holder for your lathe tools. If you wish, please subscribe to the channel. Please comment. I love the comments. If I can help or make things better, I'd love to. Stay safe. Dr. Joe, Adventures With. Until next time, thank you.